Welcome back, folks. It is Monday, and we just got back on the ranch. We got some big storms coming. We got some weather, cold weather coming. It's October right now, and so we got to get these calves done before the snow hits. So we got about 435, 440 calves to work here before winter rolls in, and it's based on the forecast, it looks like it could be here too soon. Cows and calves up in the pasture. We're going to be bringing them into the lot today. 130 some calves in this group. They already banded and everything, so they're just getting their last round of shots, and then they'll be good to go again. We'll kick them out to pasture again until uh, we bring them into wean. We're gonna try to wean them around Thanksgiving time. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Stick along, guys, and we're gonna get after it. We're gonna be putting up a poly wire for tasing cows, redirecting them so they don't go one direction. That looks good. Nice. Needs air. What's up, Sparky? How are you doing? How are you doing? So all of our cows are out here in the pasture right now. We need to get them up in the lot, and we're gonna try to run them across, along this fence. And then we got junk and panels lined up here. So we're gonna, and then we gotta go over this hill down to that gate. So I'm gonna run a taser wire from here straight out that way. So when they come this way, they hit this wire, come in, into here. The four wheelers are in rough shape around here. This one's got two leaks in tires. Both tires are leaking right now. This one's battery's dead. Alternator's not working because they drove it all day yesterday and the battery didn't charge at all. So, jumper cables work though. That's why you need to get yourself one of these 2002 Chevy freaking 15 hundos. They're pretty good. I mean, you can beat the piss out of them and they still run for you. Look at them. Looking calves, they're all about four to five months old right now, and they're pretty good. For any of you guys that watched the last one of the last videos, Dad he was out driving with some new cows that we got, and they're rather spooky because we haven't worked them. But these, I mean, we drive right through them. We'll get out in an 80-acre pasture like this. We'll drive around the edge one time, and they pretty much all know what's going on. They go up to the gate and they get ready to leave. All the cows that we've had for multiple years are pretty pretty obedient and pretty calm around everything, really. Just how they should be. Dogs are going for a little swim. Uh, that don't look great. Unless they are twins. I don't know if we have a set of twins out here. Beautiful country up here this time of year. Look out. Probably hard to see on this little camera, but we got cows way down there. Coolies, all the fall leaves change the colors. It's pretty. I don't know what they're doing. They open all your stuff and just wait. We're getting cold. We made it through pasture one, which is back there. There's a cross fence out here on this border. And we're heading towards the gate. We're heading towards the corral. Uh, they're kind of going the wrong way because they come in that other gate yesterday. So I think they're getting back out to where they were. But we need them to go south, and they're kind of heading north, but 
Looks like mom's up there turning them with the pickup right now. Yep, there's the back. Everything's lining out pretty good. Perfect, we're gonna have them up in there. And then we just gotta get through the last gate. But once we get up where those freestanding panels are, then we're good. And I just made the mistake of shutting the dead four-wheeler off, so that's good. I will be walking the rest of the way. It's working really good today, for whatever reason. It's flowing perfectly. You can clearly hear that everyone is here. Okay, so here's our calf gate that we usually use um, in the summertime and it works really good. The calves can slide under there, so. But these calves are getting pretty big and I think the only way this gate will work is if we turn it into this pen. This is gonna be our calf pen. So our calf gate will be like that. So if they go in there, they'll get bottlenecked in. And usually when a calf gets stuck in a corner or something, they start putting their head down and looking for a way to get through like panels and stuff. So with this being open on the bottom, we're hoping a calf looks under it and they'll shoot through. Otherwise, we're probably gonna have another sorting gate there, that gray one, and that'll also be able to sort calves in. And then also at the top here, we may lift it up and have calves go under that as well. Well, we'll see if this little corner trap works or not. We're trying to remember how we had our sorting pen set up before. We're making something out of it, I guess. We got our system built and we're gonna get into it here. We're gonna sort all the bulls off too and we're gonna pull them off today. Put them in with the calves for now. Let's get into it, get sorting. Dad's gonna run the cows and calves down and I'm gonna run this gate right here and sort everything off. up here now everything sorted off got our bulls out here got all the cows down there there's two left in here but we'll just leave them mom's gonna bring the medicine out here and then we're gonna get after and start working these calves
Yeah, the double gate system worked pretty good today with them calves. As soon as the bellering started down here, we had that extra panel on there to get the towels around. And they were bellering right there, and all those calves would push down in here, and they were sucking through that gate under both of them pretty good. I'm going to get the tub opened up here and start bringing them in. Arrow clip chute and alleyway, and with this, it's adjustable, so with these calves, 300, 400 pound calves, you can just narrow it up and run them through. You don't have to worry about getting in there and pushing them down wide alleyways and have them turn around, stuff like that. They run through just fine. Five in the alleyway here, see what happens. Six, maybe. Since I'm the only runner, since I'm the only runner guy, I'm gonna be running the alley and the tub, the bud box, I guess. So the alleyway here got stops on it, so you can just put two calves, one calf right there. Nasal gin? No, it's Enforce. What? Enforce three. What's that for? Lung it's a, health. It's a, you little pricker. Gap in and then we'll load, load the alley again. Hey! Time for a tub reload here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Guys. Get in there, bud. Run, bub. an aero quip hydraulics and a bud box it's can't beat it really i don't think anyway
those of you that are new here, my name's Dane, my dad's name's Matt, and my mom's name's Ari, and uh, yeah, we live up on a cattle ranch in Northeast South Dakota up here. I have an older brother and a younger sister, but they both go to school, or my brother actually just graduated college. But, so it's just me on the ranch now, part time usually. But if you guys enjoy cattle working or anything involving ranching, we don't do a ton of crops or farming. We do enough to feed our cows. A lot of making hay and silage, but come on, guy. But if you do enjoy this stuff, then you better hit that subscribe button because we're not going anywhere. That's a big one. What do you reckon he weighs? 400? Oh, at least. 450? The oldest calf we have out of any of these is was born on May 10th this year, so it's five months and ten days old is all. Come on, bud. Come on, guys. Turn around. Turn around. Get up. just talking we're probably gonna take videos of them right now they all look pretty good I think we should throw them back on that online deal again we had tried it in August but all of our videos were from July when those calves were only maybe hundred and fifty pounds but now but now everything's three to four to almost 500 pounds somewhere over 500 pounds so Everything, I mean, you can see that they're growing. You can see their potential a lot better when they're this big. Base, instead of when they're just a baby. We end up with them. So here's why I was sacking, why I sack every calf for all the bulls again, or the steers to double check to make sure. I don't know what happened here, but he's got intact nuts. So uh, we're gonna band him right now. Whether we thought this was a heifer in the spring or if this thing was born after we worked him, I don't know. He looks like he's small enough. He could have been born after we worked him, but I don't know. Good to go. It's probably my fault, or I missed him. This one's got some serious issues. As you can see. We don't know what that is. If it's a hernia or a nut or what, but it's not a nut obviously, but a hernia is sad. We don't know. So we're gonna sort him off and then he's gonna go into the vat. That one's got one nut. This one's got that hernia. So we're gonna sort them both off, take them to the vet. Alley reload.
everything's going smooth. These calves are about the perfect size for this alleyway. And the hydraulic chute, it's always nice to have. I mean, it makes up there, running the head gate and all that, so easy. One guy can run pretty much the whole thing as long as he's got someone loading the syringes for him. So, so it's time for another tub load. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Cha-cha real smooth. Cha-cha now, y'all. Crisscross. Time for another load. You're dumb. Big dumb idiot. See ya, dummy. Going good, slowing down a little bit. I'm slowing down a little bit. Had a long weekend of hunting. Tired now. But we maybe got 40, 40 calves left, I suppose. We got 12 calves left. Time for a turbo 12 calf time lapse here. All right guys, finished up all the calf working now. There's still one bull that's still out in those cows that slipped by us somehow, so dad's gonna go do that. And then we're gonna let these calves out with their moms again. Reunited at last. Four hours of bellering later, they're back together. But sorting went good today, working went really good. We weaned off three calves. One's got that hernia, one's got that one nut, and then the other one is sick. So we got them separated, but everything else is back with the moms now, the cows. We're probably gonna call it a day. It's starting to cool off, and it'll be dark here in about 30 minutes, so. Calf working gullet season, Phyllis. Yeah, we got two more groups about that size to go, and then we'll be done for the year, and then we'll have to be the next we'll see them after that is weaning. So these are going back out to pasture. A little bit more grazing and then we'll bring them in and wean them in a month and a half. Thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next episode. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below and see you later. Hold up here, let me peace out on Matty Ice here. I peace. peace out on Wayne.